Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord. When I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. When thou sayest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God, for my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path. Because of mine enemies, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for that scripture. I want to pray now for Kendrick Johnson, you might have heard of the case, this young man in Valdosta, Georgia, actually my hometown. I was actually born in Valdosta, Georgia, actually in the suburb of it, but yes, that's my home. But something drastic happened to this young man as he lost his life. And the story goes, his life was taken and his organs were removed. Well, we want to believe God for justice. We don't know who did it. We don't know what happened. But Father, I pray for justice for Kendrick Johnson and for his family. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This is no longer bound. God bless you all.